In this video, we will simulate a cantilever beam which is subjected to 5000 Newton force. The length of this beam is 6 meter. Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal and moment of inertia is 347 into 10 raised to power minus 6. The material that is used for this beam is structural steel. This is a W beam which is a standard American wide flange and its de designation code is 12 into 12 into 96 in inches and in terms of millimeter it is 310 into 310 into 143. We have selected this beam from a website engineering toolbox. The dimension of this beam has been given on this website. The link to this page is given in the description of this video. The dimensions that we will use to create the geometry of this problem are H which is the depth of this beam. This is H. The second dimension is the width, web thickness, this is web thickness and this is flange thickness. These four dimensions will be used to create the geometry. Open ANSYS workbench, double click on the static structural. We will not change the engineering data. By default, structural steel is selected in the engineering data. We can create geometry in space claim, design modular and in ANSYS discovery. ANSYS discovery and space claim are very much similar to each other. But the ANSYS discovery is the latest software and we will use ANSYS discovery in this video. This is ANSYS discovery user interface. First we will draw the beam cross section. By default XY plane has been selected. We may select any other plane by using this new plane button. To look at the plane we will use this button plane view. Then we will select the rectangle. Start from the origin, enter the dimensions, press tab button, enter these two dimensions and press enter. Then again start from the origin to draw another rectangle and the height of this rectangle is equal to the flange thickness. Press the tab button and enter the flange height equal to 22.9. Press enter. Draw another rectangle on the opposite side having the same dimensions. Then draw another rectangle starting from the midpoint of this line and width of this rectangle should be equal to 7 millimeters. Then draw another rectangle starting from the same point having width equal to 7 millimeter. Now click this button trim away to delete the extra edges. Now all the extra edges have been removed. Now, now click on this button create rounded corner. Now select this edge and enter a radius equal to 30 mm. Now repeat it for the other three edges. We have created rounded edges at these points to avoid stress concentration at the sharp edges. Now click on this pull button and press H. Now select this surface and press the space button and enter a value of 6000 mm. Then press enter. But we can see here there is a question mark on the geometry tab. It means the geometry was not properly attached. So we can import the geometry right click import geometry and browse the file that we have saved a green check mark means that we are good to go in the next step now double click on the model button now click on mesh in the details of mesh enter a element size equal to 20 mm then click on generate we can further refine the mesh but it will increase the computational time now Right click static structure, insert a fixed support. 
in the problem statement it was a cantilever beam so we will fix this end zoom into this area and select this face make sure the face selection button is on and select this face and then click apply now this face cannot move in x y or z direction now press this button zoom to fit and zoom in the other side of the beam and click on this edge selection button to select this top edge now right click on the static structural insert a force so in the details of the force we will define the force y components and in the y component enter a value of negative 5000 check the direction of the force which is the correct direction in negative y now right click on the solution tab insert deformation total deformation again right click the solution tab insert stress and equivalent stress then click on the solve button now the solution is complete now we will review the results first click on this edges button and select on this no wire frame the maximum bending stress should occur at the point where the beam was fixed so we can check that by clicking on the probe button and see the stress at this point the maximum stress will occur at this edge and the average value around this edge is 13.5 megapascal we we should neglect the stress at the sharp edges it is due to the stress concentration now we will review the result of total deformation click on total deformation click on zoom to fit button the maximum deformation is on the free end and we can probe the maximum deformation by using this probe button at the free end it is around 4.9 millimeter so now we will validate our results and compare the total deformation and bending stress value with our hand calculations this was our problem with these dimensions we can find out the bending moment in this cantilever beam which is subjected to a point load by using this formula m is equal to w l which is equal to 30000 newton meter with the help of this bending moment we can find out the bending stress which is equal to m c over i i is moment of inertia and c is the distance from the centroidal axis x to the outermost fiber of the beam cross section so by calculation the maximum bending stress is 13.94 megapascal which is very close to our ANSYS result which was, which was around 13 to 14 megapascal. Next we will find out the maximum deflection of the cantilever beam subjected to a point load. Through this table we can see that the maximum deflection can be found by this expression WL cube over 3 EI. So by using this expression the maximum deflection is 5.17 mm and our ANSYS result of maximum deflection was 4.9 mm. So our ANSYS results are in good agreement with our hand calculation. So our simulation is validated.